the Zip Ball is a cute little 7 inch ball that weighs 3.4 ounces and it was made by Cindy Bristow. She made this ball so that pitchers are forced to hold the ball with their normal grip in the pads of their fingers because the pads are where the speed is and we are not able to grip it deep into our fingers or deep into our palm which would steal speed from our pitches. Not just for pitching, you can use the zip balls for catching drills, fielding drills, bunting, slapping. Um, every drill you do with a normal ball, you can do with the zip ball and it challenges your tracking, your fielding ability and helps with your throws and how you use your fingers. For the pitchers, there's four steps that we're going to do. Self flip, a little close toss to our catcher about 15 feet away then a three-quarter pitch at three-quarter speed, so about 30 feet away, and then we'll be on the mound throwing full speed, full motion. Every pitch you have, fastball changeup, your drops, your curves, your screwballs, your rises. The first day I started using them, the first time a kid threw it, she turns to me and goes, gee, this ball really makes you use your fingers. So all I could do was grin. They really got it. Brittany and I will do a few of step one, which is the self-toss. We're just going to do a couple fastball self-flips. All right, let's do some fastball flips. I have cut electrical tape in half to create tape lines on these little balls. So do the same. All right, we are going to do, let's do curves. We're going to do a little self-flip of a curve. And you really have the ball in the pads of your fingers, and you can feel those fingers working. All right, let's do rise balls. And get your actual grip on these little seams. All right, step two, Brittany is going to do the up close half tosses to your catcher. She's going to do a fastball. Good take line. She's going to do a curveball half toss. Look at that take line. And let's throw in a rise ball half toss. Very good. All right, we'll move back for step three. Here's step three. 30 feet away, three-quarter distance, three-quarter speed, starting with her fastball. And you would do lots of those. Now she's going to do her curve ball. One more curve. And you've done lots of those. Now the rise ball spins three quarter distance. Good take line. One more rise ball with the zip ball. Feel those fingers working. Drive the ball out of your hand. There you go. We'll give you a few head-on shots of the third step, the three-quarter speed, three-quarter distance. This is her fastball. Good. You can see the nice tape line. Now a few curve balls. She drives the ball out of her hand with her fingers. Drive the ball out with your fingers. Curve ball. from the front view. Alright, good job. The from the mound, full speed, full distance with the zip ball. Here's her fastball. Here you go. Around, around, around. There you go. Full speed, full distance from the mound. Fastball. Good job. All right. Here comes the curveball. Full speed. Nice job, Britt. 
curve again. Good job. All right, can we do peel drops? Peel drops with the zip ball. All right, try it again. Make adjustments. Feel those fingers. And one more. There you go. Good adjustment. Here you go. And we'll do a few backhand change-ups with the zip ball. several of the different pitches that we do using the zip ball and really learning to use our fingertips. Our fingers are our most important body part. Here's an additional drill with your zip ball. You must manipulate a ball with your fingers. Okay, you got to know how to do that because you're not spinning it, you're not throwing it. You're going to take your little zip ball, you're going to create pressure with your fingers just like you're snapping and I'm going to spin my curve. When I spin it, I can hear my snap sound. Okay? I'm not sure the camera's picking it up, so we're going to add some sound effects for you. Here you go. And again, oh yeah, I can snap that thing loud. That was my curve. Awesome little drill to do while they're sitting around the house. Turn sideways. I'm going to do my rise ball. A little more mm, difficult to hear the snap in this position. We're going to add some sound effects for you. There we go. So do your snaps with your zip ball. Don't stop trying this until you can get it.